வணக்கம் ஐம் வயோனி டிமேல் திஸ் இஸ் பாஸ்டன் லங்கா நியூஸ் பிரிங்கிங் யூ நியூஸ் வியூஸ் அண்ட் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் பாஸ்டன் அண்ட் யூஎஸ்ஏ As part of covering the whole North America, Boston Lanka News team traveled to Toronto, Canada few weeks ago. A large Sri Lankan population is concentrated in the city of Toronto. In fact, the Sri Lankan population is one of Canada's fastest growing communities. It was a very snowy morning as we drove to the downtown Toronto. In Canada, we spoke to Sri Lankan Council General in Toronto. Uh, since the independence in Sri Lanka, there were success stories and some setbacks. The world is aware of that and we had a very dark period. famous sri lankan actress in the singhala cinema leena de silva apide sambandha ve prema gurthanthe gana pola kiyana puluwada semiya board patune nan mage apide nekata ko paapu devili chitta patin sunita 1958 avurude surutile kare 1956 i think panas athi avurude apide kare sunita chitra pati daamata prasiddha gunu chitra patiya spent time talking with sri lankan singer kitsire jai sekar and listening to him singing some of his songs and also met few other prominent sri lankans obette ma api denata pratibha navinna nartana saha sangeetha pasana karamma kata thiyena visheshen ape lokum bala aburuttu kiyana me rate jeevathana singhala daru ඔවුන්ට අපේ කලාව සංස්කෘතිය කියන දේ මම හිතන ඔවුන් ඔවුන් ජීවත් වෙන මේ රට තුල ගොඩක් වෙලාවට හරි ආකාරව කරගන්න මෙතෙක් අවස්ථාවක් තිබුණේ නැහැ. ඉතින් මටත් මගේ බිරින්දටත් විශාල වමනාවක් තිබෙනවා මේ රටේ මේ සිංහල කුඩා දරුවන්ට අපේ රටේ කලාවේ සහ සංස්කෘතිය අගය කියලා දෙන්න සහ ඔවුන්ට මේ කලාව සහ සංගීතය විශේෂයෙන් නර්තනය සහ සංගීතය කියන විෂයන් දෙකේ ஒன்ற <laughs> We spoke to Venerable Ahangama Ratnasiri Thero at the Mahavihara. At the time, we had a sign of the Mahavihara. 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 දොර දහ දහක් විතර මුදලක් එකතු කරගෙන පුංචි ස්ථානයක් අරගෙන ඒක අවුරුදු දහසයක් විතර පවත්වාගෙන ගියා ඊට පස්සේ ඉතින් එන්න එන්න පිරිසත් වැඩි වුණා ඊට පස්සේ මේ ඉටුරුටු මහ විහාර සමිතිය කියලා අපේ සමිතියක් තියෙනවා ආයෙත් අපි තීරණය කරලා මේ මම මෙහාට ආවේ 1989 අසුනාමි මේ කැන්ඩාවට ආවේ එතකොට මේ පුංචි ස්ථානේ තමයි තිබුණේ ඊට පස්සේ අපිට පුළුවන්කම ලැබුණා ඒ ස්ථානේ විකුණලා මේ භූමිය ගන්න පුංචි ගෙයක් එක්ක මේ පළාතේ තියෙන ඉතා විශිෂ්ට විහාරස්ථානයක් වේද ඒ කියන්නේ මේ සැලැස්ම ලංකාවේ සැලැස්මටත් සම්බන්ධයි ලංකාවේ ගුණ නිර්මාණ ශිල්පයටත් ටික සමීපව හදාපු ගොඩනැගිල්ලක් මේ රටේ ඉන්න අය මෙතන පහු කරගෙන යන අය බොහොම සතුටු වෙනවා මේ ගොඩනැගිල්ලා දැකලා මොකද මේ විදිහේ ගොඩනැගිල්ලක් මේ පළාතේ කොහෙවත් නැහැ Venerable Ratnasiri shared a little bit about the meditation program at the Buddhist temple and the interest shown for meditation by the Canadian people. Hema iridama bhavana wede pilulak tiyena. Hema iridama api udi athamara indala 10 dakwa bhavana me wede satahanak tiyena. Iting ekata videshaya enawa me Canada ave jibat wena enawa. E herenda api warinwara retreat karnawa me bhavana wede piluwala. 
ඒවා සමහර විට ඒවට හැට හැට දෙයක් එකතු වුණා විශේෂයෙන්ම ලංකාවේ ඊටමත්ම දක්ෂ භාවනා උපදේශකවරු ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේලා වැඩි අවස්ථාවල අපි එහෙම වැඩිපිළිවෙල යොදනවා එතකොට ඇමරිකාවේ මුණ්ඩතන නායක හාමුදුරුවන් එහෙම වඩිනවා ඉතින් බහුගේ කාලේ එහෙම එකක් හේතු වුණා ඉතින් අපි වරින් වර එහෙම විශේෂ භාවනා වැඩිපිළිවෙල සකස් කරනවා දැන් අගෝස්තු මාසේ දවස් 10ක භාවනා වැඩිපිළිවෙල තියෙනවා ඉතින් ඒකට සුදු අය මේ කැනඩියානු ජාතික අය මේ සහභාගී වෙනවා කියලා අපි බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා Due to the large number of Sri Lankans living in the Greater Toronto area, Sri Lankan government has a consulate general office in Toronto to serve the diverse issues of the Sri Lankan community including their consular needs. We sat with the council general Mr. Kanuna Ratna Paranavithana to discuss some of the services offered by his office as well as to know his views on Sri Lankan Canada relations and how he makes an effort to bring healing to the Sri Lankan community after the ending of the war in Sri Lanka. Mr. Paranavithana um it's estimated that there are about uh, 300,000 to 350,000 Uh, Sri Lankans are living in Canada. As the Council General, uh, what are your responsibilities? Actually, that is the main re- one of the main reasons uh, to establish a consulate here by the government of Sri Lanka, looking at the big number of Sri Lankan Dasavora living in Greater Toronto area. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, there are about uh, approximately 300,000 and above people here. So the aim of the consulate is uh, to reach out these people and provide uh, the basically the consular service uh, with regard to their Sri Lankan apparatus. And since it's a big diaspora community and it is diverse uh, and plural society, so looking at the back home uh, situation, social economic political situation, Uh, we need to uh, nowadays we need to have a big reconciliation among our communities so that is uh, the other uh, aim of uh, our mission um in what way you are trying uh, to approach the uh, sri lankan uh, community living in um, toronto uh, some may still have some reservations about the government's intentions in building a peaceful country Uh, with equality without uh, any prejudice actually the, since the independence in sri lanka there were success stories and some setbacks the world is aware of that and we had a very dark period and during that dark period uh, majority of the uh, people uh, came this way so still there are a big number of people who subscribes uh, the mindset of conflict era so that is the challenge uh, we are facing here uh, however now we are we are uh, having a dialogue with them and we are continuously uh, sending the message towards them uh, asking them to have a fresh look at sri lanka and uh, uh, there are challenges of course uh, uh, however uh, using our good office and some other extra curricular activities and community events Uh, we are creating a, a healthy and conducive platform uh, all sri lankan people to come together and celebrate and collaborate uh, together and doing their uh, community works uh, so we believe that uh, if we could continue this work uh, for couple of years uh, in future uh, we can have a healthy dialogue among our communities May I ask you, uh, what are the major challenges that you have when you work with a very diverse community in Toronto? Now, still, the major challenge is uh, some political extremists. They are lesser in number, but they have a big voice here. Uh, even though the uh, ATT movement uh, is uh, over in Sri Lanka and banned, uh, proscribed in Canada. Uh, they are very much operative under the guise of some other uh, organizational names so they are still trying to uh, create uh, some dissent voice 
dissent in the sense some kind of extremist voice uh, against Sri Lanka. So sometimes uh, we we encounter intimidations uh, so and forth. Uh, then uh, that is the major challenge. But uh, uh, we we can observe that uh, the their their pressure and uh, their their demand is gradually losing. They are losing the ground. So if we could uh, uh, expedite uh, the reconciliatory work. Uh, in years to come, uh, in in a democracy like in Canada, I I don't think uh, any extremist can uh, have a um, fertile ground here. Uh, tell us about the Sri Lanka-Canada relations, especially uh, the trade relations. Uh, Canada has been now uh, I must call it a traditional friend, and it's a Commonwealth partner, uh, and Canada has helped us a lot uh, in, in various Sri Lankan activities uh, and uh, uh, in the trade uh, trade batting list Canada actually have a big uh, big role and uh, uh, we have a good trade balance uh, between two, two countries uh, uh, and we are doing good business here yeah. and we, we, the consulate uh, has the trade officer here uh, we have established our trade mission here and we are in touch with the uh, main business operators here and uh, our main exports is tea, uh, garments uh, and uh, arts and craft like that and big number of tourists uh, are visiting um, uh, Sri Lankan soil from Canada so gradually uh, if you look at the figures uh, for last uh, few years uh, the business between uh, Sri Lanka and Canada uh, is increasing in favor of Sri Lanka. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in your way, uh, what are the major misconceptions um, uh, the, the policy makers or the people in Canada have on Sri Lanka? Uh, actually, there are no big misconceptions. Okay. Uh, Canada helped Sri Lanka in a bigger way. And when Sri Lanka demanded to ban certain certain uh, elements, political elements, extremist elements, Canada responded uh, in in a good heart way. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, it's it's a polity. Uh, in a in a democratic polity, uh, you you encounter diverse opinion. Uh, that is there in Canada also. Uh, only one thing uh, I can say is uh, Canada needs to look at uh, the Sri Lanka not through the conflict lens. Uh, now we are facing a post-conflict situation. The political landscape of Sri Lanka has been drastically changed now. But the world needs to look at that changing nature in a positive manner. That is the message. Uh, uh, of course, we we are trying to uh, convey the Canadian policymakers, uh, but uh, I think a lot of politicians who are very much in touch with Sri Lankan soil, I think they are very much positive about Sri Lankan situation now. In coming weeks, we will bring you the interviews we have done in Toronto, Canada, with the actress Lena De Silva singer Kitsri Jaisekara and some other prominent Sri Lankans. That concludes our news edition. We meet you again with another news edition of News, Views and Entertainment from Boston and USA. Till then, goodbye.